thought seeing a lion take down a gazelle was violent, check out this giant bird absolutely destroying a defenseless frog. This is the southern ground hornbill, and you do not want to be its next meal. These predators feast on all kinds of creatures, including some you'd never imagine a bird could chow down on. With their black feathers, red neck casks, and dangerous looking curved bills, these birds look like turkeys from hell. The southern ground hornbill lives across the continent of Africa. With a wingspan of 1.2 meters and standing 90 to 110 centimeters tall, these raven-feathered birds are an impressive sight. You can recognize the males by their bright red necks. The females have a dark violet patch in the same place. Both sexes have blue eyes circled by short, dense red feathers. They like to live in grasslands and woodlands with plenty of trees to make their nests in. They can fly, but they don't go up in the air as often as many other types of birds. They prefer staying low to the ground so that they can hunt. And do they know how to hunt? Ground hornbills are omnivores. They eat some seeds and berries, but they really enjoy eating meat. They'll feast on rodents, rabbits, and even small monkeys if they can catch one. Hornbills get their name from the huge hooked bill that makes them such terrifying predators. These incredibly sharp and powerful beaks are perfect for stabbing through a reptile's skin or chopping at a hard tortoise shell to get to the meat within. It isn't a quick death either. Hornbills are known to toss their food around before finally swallowing it whole. They don't have teeth, so this violent dinner dance helps them kill or stun the unfortunate entree, which might still be alive as it makes its way down the big bird's throat. I have never wanted to be a lizard less than I do right now. I hate my life. I hate your life too, dude. Fortunately for us, these birds have never been known to attack humans. Their loud and unique call would tell you if one was nearby, giving you plenty of time to run away. <laughs> Southern ground hornbills have a few different calls, but the most interesting is this low, deep grunt that sounds like it belongs at the bottom of the ocean. They use the hollow cask on top of their beaks to amplify the sound so animals can hear it up to two kilometers away. This helps them defend their territory, which can span up to 100 kilometers or more. Even though they're territorial, these birds are surprisingly friendly about mating and community living. They practice cooperative breeding and live in groups of up to 11 birds. The group contains a dominant male and female that breed and a handful of helper males who defend the parent birds and their chicks from predators. They and the younger birds help feed the breeding family. It's a good thing they work like this because these birds aren't making many babies a female will typically lay one or two eggs. Once they hatch, they have to start fighting for food immediately. Usually, only one chick survives for longer than a few months. And they don't breed every year, so only one chick is raised every six years. Some varieties of hornbills take breeding so seriously that the male seals the female into her nest while she lays and hatches their eggs. This keeps her safe from hunters. Southern ground hornbills don't do that, but their system of cooperative breeding provides a lot of security. Check out this video for another bird that hunts snakes and lizards by stomping on them. And they have some seriously killer eyelashes. They sound a bit like mini submarines and use their dangerously sharp bills to annihilate their prey. And that's what makes southern ground hornbills crazy creatures.